Hey man, what are you doing? Curious to see what's inside? What are you going to say for this morning? Okay, wait. 36.8. Very good. It's your treat. Go. Slightly more than a month ago, there's like hundreds and thousands of visitors. And then suddenly with the lockdown, you see zero. In the history of the zoo, since it opened, the zoo has never closed. I'm Maren Shashi. I'm head keeper of Primate One, Great Apes, where we manage the orangutans. And I've been reading a lot of reports of zoos closing down and some having to feed their animals to the carnivores. It's sad to read this kind of news, but I'm sure those zoos would have tried all available resources to keep the zoo running. It's sad, but it's something I think they are left with no choice. And I sincerely hope that we will not reach that stage. I joined the zoo in early 1997. I've been around since then. I fell in love with the orangutans, their character, their personality, how they share a very close bond with their keepers, the trust, the love. Actually, I treat my orangutans like family. It's something that you develop over years of working with them. You share a lot of things together. And I spend a lot of years with them, some since baby. So we build a very strong relationship with the orangutans. And uh, at the moment, cases started increasing in Singapore. We already started implementing some of the changes in the SOP or the way we operate our contact with the orangutans. So now with the change of routine, we are required to wear masks throughout the day. Initially, the orangutans were wary of why we are wearing a mask. So they will be wondering, hey, what's wrong? These guys are very used to routine. But I'm really grateful for the team I have. Even though they all have family, they all have little children, but they still set aside their time to care and work for these animals. Most of them are here for the love for the animals. Honestly, you can talk to any zookeeper. Nobody would have chose to stay at home. Everybody would have chose to come and take care of the animals, be it working with insects or from the smallest to the largest. If we don't do it, nobody's going to do it. You know, in my 20 years, I love coming to work. This place has got a magical touch. Walking into work, the sound of magpie robins, the sunbirds, so peaceful and tranquil. So never a day gets by where I'm ah, dragging myself to work. It's definitely sad. And you come in in the morning, you see the whole place really empty. We will fight back. Monday will bounce back. <laughs>